Balls, aka Mr. Popo, we are here with another gameplay for you, Worthless Maggots. And today we'll be playing a game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I saw I saw this on Steam. I saw a bunch of thumbnails of other people react to it. Not react to it, um, play this game. But right here it says this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. So if you are one of the if you fit into that category, Go ahead and close out the video, but remember to like it first and press the subscribe button. Haha, <laughs> y'all know how it is. But, alright, I'm probably going to do a series on this, so remember that. It's for not for the easily disturbed. Let's go ahead and get on into this. I see these four. Mmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and... Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warning, please visit that that link. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on into this. By playing Doki Doki Literary Club, you agree that you are not that you are at least thirteen years of age and you consist to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Hey, if that if that means titty, then I'm in for it. Alright. I agree. Make sure my volume isn't too high. Alright. Alright. <laughs> what am I getting myself into? What am I getting myself into? Alright. Um, new game. Please enter your name. Alright. Let's put in Lord Popo. Oh wait, there's no spaces? All right, Lord Popo, let's go with it. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's just kind of worked up because you've known each other for it so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we should over we would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Alright, so that's Sayori. Alright. Haha! I overslept again. Let me try to put on the, um, she seems like a high-pitched anime voice. Alright, let me try this. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. But I can't. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. I can't do it, I can't do it. But it got you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you, says me, Lord Coco, alright? Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Lord Popo. It should be. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something, really. Come on, you can't say no to that. You can't say no. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have, don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. I'll blow up the world. You know, I'll you know, destroy it. I can be mean. Whatever you say, Sayori. Ehe. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the street becomes increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Lord Popo, have you decided on a club to join yet? Um, a club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any club. I haven't been looking, either. E, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of my many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Man, I'm a... I'm a mean person. I like my characters already. Rory really likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly con perfectly content just being by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Alright. Aha! I was talking about... How I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills by before college, really. 
Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Oh, she's into it. And you... And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat... Neat. And if you... is because you're not used to the real world, what's a neat? Whatever. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Alright, I'm gonna try and do a different voice for all the different characters. No promises, though. Well, you at least- Alright, I'm gonna do my regular voice for this. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I su I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little. At least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Alright, so we're in class. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Club. Larry wants me to check out some club. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Alright, I'm with this. Dragon Ball Z, let's go. Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the class while facing out. However, I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and facing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You, do, you don't need to wait up for me, if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you come could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had an interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to, to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, you're... That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much, anyway? Well, I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Ehe. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Theory is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. This is a lot of reading. Like, man. Video is going to be long just by reading. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Ha! <laughs> Got jokes. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs section of the school. I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Theory, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Alright, so this is the classroom. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Ugh, I glance around the room. Girl 1. Alright, so let's make a voice for her. Welcome to the Literature Club. Literature Club, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry always says nice things about you. <laughs> I'm terrible at these girl voices. Alright, so what about you? I'm gonna do Dinde's voice. Seriously. You bought me, boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> There's so many people. I'm gonna do my regular voice for her, too. Oh, Lord Popo, what a nice surprise. Oh, you know me. Oh, alright. Welcome to the Literature Club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is 
So not only did I sell my sell my soul for a cupcake, but for other things. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Uh, what was your voice? I don't remember. I'm just gonna say my regular voice, not Suki. Hmm. Girls with the sou sour attitude, whose name is apparently not Suki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You know... Wait, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girl. Anyway, this is not Suki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Alright, I'm actually finding interest in Yuri. Like, really, I am. Like, two main reasons. I'll let you figure out those reasons. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Lord Kobo. Monica smiles sweetly. What is that pose she's doing? <laughs> That's hilarious. We didn't know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. <laughs> Come on, we, we have a chance, right? So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Lord Popo. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them, I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is some one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yori walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray of Yori opens and Yori opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat to next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cups he decorated to look like little caps. The wood skirts are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Alright, is there some way I can like skip this kind of skip button? So cute. Uh, alright, this is gonna skip all this whole- you know, I wanna know the story, I'm gonna keep on going. Hey, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this symbol before? Made them for you or anything. And I thought you technically did, Sayori. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you. You know. You, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up in Natsuki's weird logic and... Dismisses the conversation. Ah, most train of thought. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in, the cla in this classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't let your. Don't let yourself get intimidated, you're just trying to impress you. Really? Hey, that's not true. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and re- 
Tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, <laughs> hold on, I got two reasons, two reasons, right in front of me. Right in front of me, two reasons. Not your eyes, not your ears, not your hands, feet. Two reasons right in front of me. I'll let y'all figure that out. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Women's Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? <laughs> this reading is like... No, I'm gonna pause the video here, and I'm gonna finish all this later. You know, let's see. I'm gonna pause it and just check some other YouTube because I'm tired of reading this. Say, Lord Popo, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, ah, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga seems legit. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she kept keeps quiet. Not much a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Then level of creative the level of creative creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equal and equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. Well let me make, turn this down some. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately, really. Oh, I, read a, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal, minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me, the other, takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. I can't put it down. Can't put it down. I, you know, pausing the video again, can't do all this reading out loud. Can't do it. And okay, so apparently, while I was reading the what's it called, all this by myself, I apparently agreed to write a poem and have everybody read it tomorrow. And that's my assignment for this club. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Lord Pope, I'm, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, I'm looking forward to showing how I express myself, too. Mainly to you, because, you know, those two reasons. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri not to clean up the, um, their food. Hey, Lord Popo. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Siori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for club. Sure, might as well. Yay. Alright, so we walked home. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Alright, so I'm going to have to like make a decision. Alright, well, I'd really be ha happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Perhaps all 
I'll have to. The chances go closer to one of these girls. Oh, I, I hope, I hope so. I'm personally looking to. I'm looking at Yuri, Monica, Sayori, then Natsuki. Probably, actually, Yuri, Sayori, Monica, then Natsuki. That's what I'm looking for. But let's see. All right. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstance, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that's start with the writing a poem tonight. So I'm supposed to write a poem. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. All right. So I have to write a poem about them. And Monica's not a choice. Alright, so I can't go for Monica. Our Sayori seems like a very happy person. Uh, Natsuki seems like a very cute person. Like, that's what they've been telling me. And Yuri seems more of like a emo, emo person. Alright, so I guess I have to pick words that describe them. Alright, so let's go... I'm gonna try to go for Yuri. Let's go sadness. Really? How how is that? Um. Um. What's her name? Theory. All right. So let's. Go. I'm gonna try and go for Yuri. Whoa. Misfortune. Really? How? I'm. What would be good? Secretive. All right. Scars. How? No. I don't want. Um. Theory. I want Yuri. Cry, embrace, friends, tears. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to be going for Sayori. Alright, what would go, what would be Yuri? Broken. What? <laughs> Am I getting Yuri's personality completely wrong? Tragedy. Alright, I'm, I'm done. Nightgown. Uh... Uncontrollable. All right. Um. Suicide. That's a weird one. Destiny. All right. We're getting there. Desire. Um. Intellectual. Fantasy. Yeah. What? But she's. Uh, Yuri said she liked fantasy stuff. So we're going to pick twenty. All right. So I got to try and get all this. To Yuri, insight. All right, let's go. Death. Ugh, that's a weird one. Let's go with it. All right, so that went with Sayori. Dark. That's definitely Yuri. <sighs> I'm trying to go for Yuri. Shame. Wait, would shame be it? All right, so this game's like forcing me to go. With Sayori. Hopeless. What is this? I have headphones. Alright, so one more. Misery. And that's Sayori. How did that go with Sayori? Alright guys, I think we can call this a video, and we can call this part one. Remember to like, comment, and or subscribe, definitely comment down below. If I should continue this, I, I probably am really, no matter what, because I'm so far liking this game. Once again, like, comment, and or subscribe, and I shall see you with those maggots in the next video. By the way, hashtag Sayori, Monica, Natsuki, or Yuri in the comments below. Bye!